Around 11.30 on Tuesday night, shots rang out yet again on 8th Street in the quiet Kings Park neighborhood as 45-year-old Clinton Fitzgibbon and his common-law wife, 37-year-old Dorita Wallace, sat outside of their residence. A gunman approached and opened fire on them. Clinton was hit multiple times to the chest and back, while Wallace was hit once to the left calf as their children were inside the house. The couple was rushed to the KHMH, where Clinton would later succumb while receiving treatment. He was sitting on the refrigerator with his um, girlfriend, you know, his children's mother, and um, I heard that he, the person just come and just fire shot, you know, kill him, and the young lady got shot in, his, in her foot. How many shots did he receive? Well, I don't know. Oh, no. no, from all indications, from what I understand, he wasn't a bad person, or he not give trouble, right? No, he's not. He's not the type that will go there and, you know, give no kind of trouble. I could understand if, you know, me, one gang member or, you know, the other they get trouble, then I could say, well, okay, this is the outcome of it, you know, but I mean to say innocently, you know, innocently for no reason. It is believed that the gunman came for Clinton's younger brother, but would instead kill him and injure his wife. According to Jacqueline Fitzgibbon, the murder is related to that of Luis Dominguez, who was killed three days earlier and two houses away. It's probably something like a kind of retaliation, they say that, you know, they were supposed to kill one of my other brother, but instead they catch this one, right? Because they were claiming that my other brother had something to do with the death of Esse, you know, and which at the time, you know, from what I heard, they say he wasn't anywhere around. You know, he was at a party on Mahogany Street somewhere around that era, no? And, you know, this is the outcome of that. News 5 understands that the incident may have been motivated by drugs being peddled in the area. Police are on high alert following further threats of retaliation in the wake of the two homicides in the Kings Park neighborhood. This is also the second city council employee to be killed. While Dominguez was employed in the works department, Fitzgibbon worked with the sanitary unit for years. He worked freely, you know. He is not in, in fear of anyone because he not do nobody nothing, you know. He in a far work to home. He, I name know my brother as somebody who have friends. You understand? I name know he has that, you know. For so well, oh he in there with this one, or he in there with that one, you know. I know he has a person for home to work, take care of four children. Over the past year and a half to two years. We've taken a lot of hits at the council. We've lost a lot of staff members and, you know, it doesn't get easier. This one is just as hard as the others were. We do have counseling when we see staff need it. They do come in. We have some great personnel on board who we assess the situation and see if anyone wants to come in and they want to talk about it. Um, of course, I always hate to say that we get so numb to this now that you know it's just another incident that you would see on the news or so but it's been hitting us a, a, a lot closer to home now in council wallace remains hospitalized at the kmh in a stable condition dwayne moody for news five